Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Vivek Sau. Today we will continue our discussion about installing Power Exchange on MBS Part 2. Agenda for the video installation process continued. In our last video, we have installed the Power Exchange on mainframe. In this video, we will install the Power Exchange CDC software, which is the second part of the installation. Before going to the installation, various components of Power Exchange are Power Exchange Listener, Agent, Logger, ECCR, and Navigator. In this video, we will start the Listener and Agent component of Power Exchange. For this, we need to go to the mainframe file, psahu1.tester.runlib, that is the file that we have created in the first part of the installation. In my case, it is psahu1.tester.runlib. Check for the member X jobs in the above library and you will get to know what all jobs need to be submitted to complete the installation. Before going to that part of the installation, first we will get to know what are Power Exchange components. Power Exchange Listener. Power Exchange Listener manages data maps for non-relational files and DB2 tables and capture registration and extraction maps for all data sources. It also handles extraction requests for bulk data and change data. Then Power Exchange Agent. On an MBA system, the Power Exchange Agent provides and verifies capture registration information for ECCR. The Power Exchange Agent provides capture registration information to the following ECCRs that may be DB2 ECCR, IMS, Batch VGM or CICS VGM. Power Exchange Logger. On an MBA system, the Power Exchange Logger receives capture or change data from the ECCR that are connected to it and stores the change data in a log data set. The Power Exchange Logger provides the capture or change data to real time extractions or to a Power Exchange condensed job. Power Exchange ECCR The ECCR captures change data from a data source and passes the captured changes to the Power Exchange Logger for recording. Power Exchange provides an ECCR for each data source. The ECCR captures the changes to the source and passes the captured changes to the Power Exchange Logger for recording. Power Exchange Navigator Navigator is a graphical user interface from which you define and manage data maps, capture registrations and extraction maps for the data sources from which you want to extract bulk data or capture change data. Power Exchange uses these definitions to determine the data source to process capture registrations and extraction maps pertain to change data capture only now coming to the x jobs part the actual installation part i told you before in bsau1.test.runlib in x jobs it will list out all the jobs which needs to be submitted to start the listener or agent it is mentioned like in ISPF are the job card member to the member setup bulk. Setup bulk is a job, their job card will not be there. In the first process, I have, we have to copy the job card and add it to the setup bulk. Then submit the jobs in following order setup bulk, setup CC1, setup VZAM, setup August, AXIZZ998. Now we will go to submitting the jobs. Running setup bulk job. First open the member job card and copy the job card and paste it to setup bulk job and submit the job. The setup bulk job does the following processes. Setup bulk job is used to set up the bulk data transfer for the power exchange. It deletes the VJAM data sets for data maps if it, if it exists and allocates and initializes a new copy of data map to the data set. Adds the job card that is in the job card member of the run lib to the other installation jobs. Like the next jobs what we have, we have to submit all the jobs will be added with the job card. And it allocates sequential data sets copies procedures to the proclib library. After running the job we should get max cc should be 0000 or 0001 which means successful execution of the job. After submitting the setup bulk job we have to submit these jobs sequentially submit setup cc1 job which allocates cache and agent rep data sets setup vsm job which allocates vsm data sets that will be used 
for change data capture like cct file cdct file zdf file erds file etc submit setup agt job which assembles edm stir options module and writes it to the user lib library then we have to submit excite triple jet 998 job which populates DTL data, DTL demo, DTL EXPL, and Proclet with the appropriate members of the run lib. About the CCT, CDCT file, DTL data, DTL demo, we will get to know after the installation when we will start the process, we will get to know about this data sets. Then we have to submit the setup DB2 job. The setup DB2 job will internally run four more jobs, including this. This job submits the XIDDB210 job. This 210 job runs the DB2 bind for power exchange for DB2 bulk data processing. You must have DB2 bind add authority to run this job. If you select the DB2 CDC option on the data source space that we have selected, the setup DB2 job also submit the XIDDB220 job. XIDDB220 creates the capture directory database table space tables and indexes for the power exchange for db2 cdc in db2 cdc whatever table space tables indexes will use it, this job will create those things then it will submit xid db225 job which completes the db2 binds for the db2 eccr you must have sys control authority to run this job after setup db2 completes we can start our listener and agent for CDC, you must add power exchange load libraries to the APF list. In our case, whatever HLQ you have provided, HLQ.load and HLQ.loadlib needs to be added to the APF list libraries. For more information about APF list, you can contact your JDO system programming team. They will help you how to add this data set to the APF list. Now we need to copy the listener that is PWN LS NTR and agent that is AGENTSTP job present in the runlib library to user.proclib library. Why we are copying this to user.proclib because these jobs will run for a long time. So this cannot be run as a batch job, this will be run as a started task. So you have to copy these two jobs to user.proclib. If you want, you can change the names so that it will be easy to understand when the job is running and in spool you will easy to find where the job is running. After copying to user.proclib and after renaming the job you can start the listener and agent. To start the listener and agent the command is slash s then listener member name or slash s the agent member name. Then the listener and agent will be started. The next process will be we have to start the logger ECCR and we have to use the navigator. Those three things will be discussed in our next video. About this video, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any feedbacks, you can write to us in support videos at informatica.com and you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infasupport.